Howdy folks. Welcome to the Zombie Bunker. Uh, I'm a Glock fan and I picked up some new magazines here. ETS. As you know there's not there's not a lot available in the Glock except for you know factory Glock mags and uh, Magpuls. I haven't tried the Magpuls yet and I've seen these guys using these ETS here lately and uh, a few good reviews on them Suits has got one I remember if you want this is not I'm not going to uh, extreme test these you know he's he done pretty good on his it seemed like they held up for what they was what they are but for me it's my thoughts on extra mags to have for backup mags uh, in my truck at home range mainly for range shooting probably and cost wise I guess the biggest thing is uh, local gun store they keep they stock lock mags they, they run about 35 bucks a pop right and I see you get on like brown ales and order them for 25 and uh but these here you can be bought for under 20 bucks and it's not bad you know if they work for what you want them to and uh so i bought i got about four of them here i got some of them took apart because i wanted to see uh it says on here you know they're uh impact resistant chemical resistant uv resistant extreme temperature resistant and same spring size material as an OEM Glock mags. Well, so I took them apart to see if that's true. And I'm going to ramble on here. I'm not used to doing videos. And I ain't made them in forever. So anyhow, I took I took the 10, the 10 Glock and the 10 ETS Elite Tactical Systems apart to see. Well, they actually are very, very similar. And... They was very close to the same size. The followers are shaped just about identical. I noticed the material on the, the factory Glock mag was a little bit stiffer. You can flex this ETS one just a little bit. It's just a tiny bit easier to get the ETS mags apart than the Glocks. And let's see. As far as them being the same... Well, the follower ain't the same for sure. You did notice you can put the uh, ETS ones in the Glocks. But you can't put the Glock one. won't go up in the ETS one. And, but I thought I'd try them. I didn't want them for if I extreme duty or nothing. I just wanted extra mags. And until you get into the higher capacity mags, the uh, Glock's price jump up considerably. So, I got online. I seen, I picked up one. I seen them. Uh, that's how I first noticed them, too. I was in the gun store, and there was this one here packaged in the pack. So, I grabbed it to try it, and I said, well, you know, ain't can't hurt to try it. $16. And, uh... Big home, all right. Give her a try. Well, one thing I noticed with these mags, one gripe I have is they're hard to load. They under a uh, whole lot harder to load than the Glock mags. To get them last few rounds in there, if you think a Glock's might hard, these are really hard. But if you wanted to load up a bunch to take with you out shooting, so you wouldn't have to. It don't bother me to load them when I get there, but to take them out with you to the range or wherever you're going. You know, you could like you can get these if they're cheap enough for you to get them. But anyhow, where we at? This one here, I got these. I ordered this one. I this is the packaged one. I ordered. I picked up at the gun store. These here, I ordered these directly from ETS, and they come in these plastic ones. And I did notice that the on these these act, these say lifetime warranty on them, and this one didn't. And I can't help but wonder if this is like an older one or something, because with the equal length spring and all that, it sells about them. I took it apart. I've done took it apart and put it back together. But it had a shorter spring in it than the other Glock 15 mag. 
a shorter spring. Had, that actually has about the same length as the 10 rounder. And it's a darker shade. I don't know if you can make it out in here, but it's actually darker than the uh, one. So if it's maybe it might be an older one or something, but it was still, it was even it was still hard to load. But anyhow, where did we go? Got out there. I got some video of it. I shot it. Shot it. I put. I don't know what it was about. I had a hundred box and a fifty round box. I put them through, and I did them mostly. Uh, I did all the mags through one round, and then I was concentrated doing on this ten rounder to make them all in one. And I, like I, and I had some mags loaded before I got there, so 160 plus rounds uh, in my brand new Gen 4 Battlefield Green. I've been after for a long time. It's first, actually, the first one I've shot them before. But this is the first one I owned. And man. I don't know. It sure shoots good. I could hit good with it. The only thing I didn't have my G uh, my G43 with me. I went. I had picked it up to show, but I didn't have it with me. I had my car, my little car, which is the same size as the, you know, same size as the G43. Oh, but this tiny little longer barrel on the G43. But I could not hit as good with it, and it's a good shooter. I like this gun. Uh, it's a good shooter, but I could hit better with the Glock 34 for what that's worth. I'm getting off track, ain't I? With all these mags. I got what? Well, I got four of them, and we took them apart, and I showed you that. It did have very similar springs. If I, if I jumbled them up, I couldn't tell the springs apart, probably. Uh, definitely tell the base plates, these, these little floor plates for the spring ride zone. They're similar, but they're different. Glock feels a little bit firmer. In the feed lips, when you mash them together, you, you can't really mash the Glock. Barely, barely, barely. You can these just a tiny bit. And this was a new Glock 10 rounder. I had picked up. Package all the mags in, and it works really good. I like it. I just, for me, I wish they would get away from Velcro. I, I can't stand that. Try to rip it apart. It just had a couple snaps or, or something. Yeah, yeah. Complaining, but people, I do not like Velcro. But the ETS mags, for uh, for what I shot so far, I think the only time you're going to really, you know, you, these are going to have to be out for a long time for people really know what they are, how long they actually do hold up. Like I said, the one I left loaded for what I had it for three weeks and left it loaded. Pressure on it. Never could tell any difference. It didn't spread out any in that three weeks. But if you wanted to grab you up a bunch, you know, save a few dollars. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's not. But they work for me so far. Like I said, uh, long term, who knows? Uh, battle. Uh, if I was carrying uh, this on duty or something like that, Glock mags, no doubt, no question about it. The Glock mag is a better mag. No, there's no question. It's it's uh, easier to load. You can just tell. But I did notice, uh, now going in and out of the gun, uh, good old Glock mags, you know, they work. These actually are just a tiny bit smoother for what that's worth. And let's see, at least something out here. Like I said, I, I got a little bit of shooting footage. And uh, don't make fun of me if I'm uh, I notice I look back through, I'm just backing up, backing up, backing up as I'm shooting. I didn't realize I can't, it's hard to do this by yourself. And uh, need somebody filming for you to make it a lot easier. And my old shoot, I'm filming this off my phone right now. I still ain't got a good camera. And uh, but I'll try to throw in that shooting footage somewhere in here. I haven't edited a video in, I don't even know if I'm gonna figure out how to do it. If nothing else, I'll throw it on the end of this. But I just wanted to give my, you know, I'm just average Joe guy. This is my hobby away from my job. And been steady six and seven days a week on my job for the last four years. So I ain't got time. That's why no videos came up. And got time. You know, it's hard to make the 50th cent here. I don't, you know, I've never made money off of YouTube. So just to, just to share with you what I got, and uh, it's 
we shoot her at G43. But you know what, I'm going to throw this out there too. On a, I can't help but wonder though, if you ain't better off to carry. These things are so close. I mean, they're the same length. I get to hear point the guns at me, but same grip height. Uh, the thirty, the twenty-six tad bit heavier. But man, your six round, your seven rounds right here, your eleven rounder right here. You, you, endless capabilities on on uh, larger mags. But okay. Well, we'll on some more. Oh, well, I haven't uh, started carrying this one yet. I'm still carrying the dang uh, car because nobody was, has a stock, a holster in stock. So, uh, and I cannot, just can't. I mean, I hate to keep ordering stuff. You order it and then you get it in. Oh, man, then now you just wasted your money on it. So, I've still been carrying my car into Don Hoon, which works good. But I've shot it a whole bunch, but. Anyhow, I haven't been carrying it yet. I get the right holster, figure out what I want on that. And uh I like to make some more vids because I do enjoy my guns. And uh if I can just keep them from sucking, that's uh that people want to watch. And I go back, yeah, about I'm probably all other viewers do, but you uh people who do videos, you go back and look, man, did anybody watch it? Oh man, I spent all day fooling with this and I got ten views. Ah hopefully y'all enjoy this and like I said, don't make fun of my shooting too bad. Uh, and I don't know what else. I, I'm sure I'm like I said. I'm sure I'm leaving something out. These ain't quite the bear to get off. There's a Glock mag, the base plates, but uh, they they seem to work fine. I mean, at range mags, no problems, no problems at all. So, but in the end, if uh, if you you know you gonna carry these, it's gonna be your map, your backup on your side for personal fence, get the Glock Max. There is no question about it. Get the Glock Max. But the the ETS will work. I'll try to try 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 the mag pulls. But the good thing about it, you know, like if you get this stuff out here, you know how like mag pull is done with AR mags, that, that's the go to mag now. Well uh maybe eventually There'll be Glock mags that you can get. They're go-to mags. They don't cost you as much as Glock mags. In it, you know. But anyhow, and these are I think these are twenty bucks. You can go ahead and load up your mags and throw them in there. Like I said, I prefer they get away from the Velcro. And I'm Glock fan. Glock, yeah, you know, Glock fan boy. I love all guns. I got all kinds, but I kind of. You know, I've gone back to to basing uh, my stuff on my Glock and in nine millimeter because I can I can keep multiple mags and that's another reason I went with uh, pulled up the the G26. It will run all these mags. I love that. And man, you see me? Well, y'all didn't watch me shooting, but I showed you. Uh, uh, that was a what is that? Thirty pound gas cylinder I was shooting at fifty yards. Can't hit it every time, but barely missing. And man, I just don't see. I mean, this is. Sweet carry gun. I, I can see these coming back this size once the the fat of the single stack fades out a little bit. I, I can see these coming back. But anyhow, on the mags, I don't know about these package like this. Like I said, it had a shorter spring than, than the similar Glock mag. And what else? Damn, I could ramble on forever. But anyhow, I'm already gonna make this 20 minutes and. Y'all don't even watch my two-minute video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyhow, if I don't split this, I don't know if I'll remember how to do it. I'll throw it on the end of shooting, and thanks for watching, y'all. See ya. Brand new, never fired by me. Gen 4 Glock 26. Battlefield Green. Regular Glock 10 round, fully loaded.
ETS 10 round fully loaded. ETS uh, 15 round fully loaded. Oh, what am I doing? Thing shoots good. ETS 17 round fully loaded. Just old aluminum federal. ETS, uh, they're not labeled, so I think it's 21. It's got 21 in it. Ah, oh, flinched. Well, how about that? That 15 rounder had been laying around loaded for three weeks. Just see how, how it did. All right. That is a good shooter, I swear. Love it. I'm shooting in about uh, let me see here or not. That jug there about, I think it's, uh, I'd go see 50 yards, but easily hitting it. All right, bye.